I think we're back. More dragon, dragon. Still on this track. I think we're wrapping this game up. It's been pretty good. We just found out we're crazy. We're going to the mining company. Let's go over a lot. I'm not sure we're not going to understand it. Uh oh. Of course. Kick it. Huh? <gasps> what? Are you here, Betty? Betty? Wait. Why would it? You know what? I wonder if we had to get something from that dome. Wait, which way do we come in? That way? Oh, there's some way to go here. Oh, maybe we needed to go to that. Safe, but we're going something different. What? Simon's grave. Born December 5th, 1909. Died September 17th, 1923. A safe. Frederick would choose numbers that meant something to him. Huh? Why bury Simon here, not at the cemetery? If the village blamed him for Ruth's death... Betty, you figured this out in no time. But he was 24 when he died? Or four, huh? What? What is this? not the the yeah, whatever all right so where are we at here oh this is the other side of that burn looks like Betty can't see shit oh yeah I wonder if we can open this safe now because of the numbers or something make sure there's nothing over here What do you reckon, Betty? Let's do Simon's. Let's try Simon's birthday. Yeah, baby. A little bracelet, a letter. Another Viking artifact, Betty. Most likely from the same treasure Ruth found. The old ass hand. Postmarked in Boston. That's a, a curious coincidence. Dear Frederick, I hope this letter... It's in English, Betty. <gasps> hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health. English. We're concerned about you both. Uh, no word from you for almost two years now. Hmm. All of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing. We know things have been difficult for you and Simon. Hm. Mr. Fretland, we expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. What? Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johan must be convinced to wall up the chamber. We have already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. What the hell? The Fretland Mining Company. Ooh, there's this our must be for that locked shed. Yeah, baby. Like, what did it, I want you to look, went to the mine. I hope our guardian angel watched over you. All right. You're at the mine, aren't you? Let's go. All right, Betty. So what happens next in you? Johan and Frederick Go discover ahead. something in the mine. A cave. Can't run. A chamber of archaeological value. They argue about what to do. 
the discovery is made public, it's the end of their enterprise. Johan is convinced, or paid, to walk away. Their secret stays hidden. Then, a few months later, the accident. Three men die. The investors pull out. The mine shuts down. Frederick's up to his neck in debt. First mine in Grovik. Locals struggle with bad crops and livestock deaths and blame it on... They thought they were cursed because of the mine. A thing like that becomes self-fulfilling. If you believe you're cursed, every misfortune feeds the delusion. I don't see anywhere, a mi I don't see a mine anywhere, like really. Make sure we don't miss anything in this room. There's a window to crawl out of over there. Arsenic? Okay. What? So. What is this? 20 years pass. Frontland feud tears the village apart, setting neighbor against neighbor. And then, Ruth stumbles across the secret in the mine. After all this time, what? the truth may finally come to light, but she dies. And the day after, Simon is murdered. Tightrope. It's a catalyst. Old grievances resurface. No matter who you stand it's with, no one. you're a traitor. What? Things escalate. More people die. From disease, despair, suicides, murder. That creepy music, man. Because of the mine. Because of what they found there. What are these marks on the ground? And what they covered up. Is that like a natural dirt foot? There was no one to stop it, Betty. They were alone. Is that where limbs That's were down? That's the real curse of Grovik. Isolation. Oh, boy. God, that dumb crow. This place is cursed. Ridiculous. There's the head of that baby doll. Come on, that's not creepy as Ruth shit. was here the day she fell. Something spooked her, and then she ran all the way to the cliff where know what happened, Betty? What? Did you witness it? Oh boy. Damn, I was kind of hoping it was locked. Hello? Betty, are you in there? Please answer me. Shit. <laughs> 